Hey guys, back. Uh, just finished doing some coasters, which you saw in the previous video, hopefully. Um, now I'm gonna do a few boards. I figure might as well do a bunch of pieces tonight since I'm here and ready to go. So this is a 12 inch wooden MDF board, which I have primed with gesso. I have taped the back and I'm using my painter's pyramids, which I mentioned in my previous video um, where I got them off Amazon. They're perfect. So 12 inch board, half inch thickness. Uh, I think this one, I'm going to turn it into a clock. Uh, I've done a few other clocks. These are with uh, resin, uh, as you can see. So resin with uh, pigment powder and also the dark purple is acrylic paint. But uh, these are just clocks I've made. These are also 12 inch. There's one and here's another one I did. So done, ready to go. Back is nice and clean. So this is also done with resin. So today I'm gonna just do the uh, acrylic paint. This is uh, the results from my very first video. It's now dry and it dried perfectly. So this is ready and now it's gonna get a uh, top coat of uh, resin sorry for the glare there's a pot light above me so as you can see it dried really really well so when this gets a nice coat of resin it'll be all shiny so that's that all right so i'm gonna again use blue i just want to finish these colors up and get rid of them but i'm gonna add yellow this time so you'll need, if you're making a clock, you'll need a hole in the center. Uh, usually I already have the hole in the center. I get my husband to drill a hole, but uh, it's late and I'm not gonna bug him. So I'll do the painting and then once it's dry, I'll get him to drill a hole from the back in the center and it'll just have a hole and we'll be good to go. So it doesn't matter if you do the hole first or after when you're doing paint. If you're using resin, uh, you might want to do the hole first because if you do the hole after and the resin is hard, you might crack it, I'm not sure. But with the acrylic paint, it doesn't matter. So let's get started. I still have my cup here. Same watery consistency. We'll just flood the top of this. Cover it all up. I think I saw something in there. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, who am I kidding? So much easier with gloves. All right, let's do it the easy way. Let's get some gloves. There we go. Yeah, see, I did see something in there. Looks like some gunk from the paint. Yep, there we go. I think I'm gonna do three pieces tonight, so there'll be three separate videos. I'd like to keep them short so that they're easier to upload. And every one is different, so just be nice to have different videos for different pieces. All right, so make sure you get your edges all the way around the sides, cover all that up. There we go. All right, let's see, take this off cause I'll use it again later. No point in wasting gloves. All right, so let's see, what should we start with? Oh, don't forget, 
pop the bubbles with the torch. There's lots of bubbles. All right, bubbles are gone. So let's see, what should we do? The color you put last on top is the color that's gonna show the most. So let's see, how about we add the blue first? I'm gonna put it right in the middle. Uh, let's see, and we'll do this one. Then I think I want the yellow on the top since there's so much blue. So I'll do the yellow last. All right, so the colors Starting with the first one I poured was the Liquitex Basics Primary Blue, and then the Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, and the Thalo Blue from Academy, and the PBO Studio Acrylics Opaque Primary Yellow. All right, so. Let's add our flood of white. There we go. Get the uh, hair dryer. All right, so we'll blow this way and a little bit of that way. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try this way. Maybe I'll add a little bit more white. Ah, let's use the hair dryer. Let's go a little bit this way. And then I will go a little bit this way. go so I've covered this way and this way and now I'm gonna start in the middle and go this way and then again in the middle and go that way The yellow also made green with the blue, so it looks fantastic. I definitely like that. So there's a bunch of little cells. There's a bunch in there. So I think I'm just going to blow out over here. I'm just going to add some paint. I can see a little bit of the wood there, so I want to cover that up. Same over here. Cover up any blank spots, like so. I think I'm just gonna blow a few here on the sides, maybe up top here. Turn it around and be easier. Just like that. Being careful not to touch when I'm leaning forward. There we 
there we go. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. And of course I forgot to torch the colored paint, but doesn't matter, we can do it now. So let's see what comes up when I torch here in the center. I'm gonna start up high and then we'll see what happens. So you can see blue cells came up in here. Not much going on in here. Let's try that again. Must be really thick in there. Well, see, I did that too close. So now there's a bunch of teeny, teeny, teeny white cells there. So that's why I say start high just in case. There we go. There, I think I'm gonna leave it. I like the burst of yellow in the center there. I'm just gonna make sure I have enough white along my edges. Make sure the sides are all covered. Oh, there's blue on the side here. Just go around, make sure all your edges, some of your edges may have color, as you can see there's blue there. You don't wanna smudge that as you go across because you're just gonna end up with a mucky mess. So just make sure that when you're running your hands across, it's just all white. If there's any color, just leave it. Okay, so this is complete. I'm gonna put it on my drying rack. Just add some more white right here. And that's it. Let me know your uh, thoughts on this one, guys. Feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe and Hit the little bell to get notifications for every time I post a video. I'll uh, try and bring you in for a close-up. I keep forgetting to do that, but I remembered this time. So let's see here. Some really nice cells. There you go. I like the yellow. Got a little green in there. So then what I do is I put it on my drying rack, which is over here. It's just a little shelf that I have covered with just some plastic. And this is where I put all my stuff to dry. Those are the coasters I just did. So they're up on the shelf. Those are some dry resin pieces. And there's the piece I did the other day, almost dry. So I will put my new piece right down there. And then I will close this up, keep any dust out, any hair or anything that may be floating around. So that's it everyone. And I will be doing another one shortly. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.